Welcome, this is Medicosis Perfectionalist. Let's talk about platypnea. Platypnea, what is platypnea? It's shorts of breath on sitting up like this, relieved by lying down. So when the patient is sitting up, he is short of breath, while when he lies down, there is relief, complete relief. What's the opposite of platypnea? Try to guess. Uh, 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 um. Orthopnea. Orthopnea is the opposite. So, platypnea literally means flat breathing. Plati means flat, and P-N-E-A means breath. It's from the Greek word noia. Noia means breath. So, platypnea means you breathe, you breathe when lying flat. Shorts of breath on sitting up, but you breathe when you lie flat in the recumbent, recumbent position. So, platypnea is associated with orthodeoxia. Ortho means erect. Deoxia, no oxygenation. So, when I am erect, there is no oxygenation, okay? Do not confuse the same, this orthodeoxia with orthopnea. Ortho means erect, nia means breathe. Orthopnea, the patient, breathes when he is erect. Orthodeoxia platypnea, the patient, is relieved when he is lying down. However, when he is erect, there is deoxygenation. Okay, get it? Platypnea, shortness of breath and sitting up, relieved in that recumbent position. Orthodeoxia is the same as platypnea. Orthopnea is the exact opposite. What's the mechanism? There's something in physiology called ventilation perfusion. Ventilation is V, perfusion is Q, okay? So, we have the VQ ratio, ventilation over perfusion. Okay, in the lower segments of the lung, gravity has an effect. So, gravity will pull the air down and the blood down. But, of course, air can escape. However, the pull is greatest on the blood. So, ventilation will increase a little bit. However, perfusion will increase a lot. So, what will happen to the ratio? The VQ ratio will decrease. Decrease. Okay? VQ ratio is decreased. We call this process shunt. Why? Blood is shunting from the arterial side to the venous side, like from here in the lung. Okay? And here we have deoxygenated blood. And here is supposed to be oxygenated. So if I go from here to here without being oxygenated, I'm shunting. The opposite is called dead space. So any problem in the VQ system, also known as VQ mismatch, will lead to platypnea orthodeoxia. The physician who described this condition the first time noticed that in a patient who was a coal miner, okay, he had severe emphysema and he had problem breathing while sitting up, i.e. platypnea orthodeoxia. So what are the causes of platypnea orthodeoxia? Precurrent pulmonary emboli, severe emphysema as the coal miner, and patent foramen ovale, all of these will cause what? They will cause ventilation, perfusion, mismatch, mismatch. Okay, remember, anything that will lead to arteriovenous malformations in the lungs, not systemically, no, in the lungs, like cirrhosis, for example, cirrhosis lead to AVM, so, arteriovenous malformations will lead to what? Hypoxemia. Why? Again, I'm shunting blood and no gas exchange 
is going on effectively. So blood is shunting. This is deoxygenated. This will still, unfortunately, be deoxygenated. I get hypoxemia, then hypoxia. This process is called what? Hepatopulmonary syndrome. Why does the liver, the cirrhosis of the liver, lead to arteriovenous malformation? There are two theories. I will write them down in the description. Note that these are different from orthopnea and trepopnea. So, in this video, we talked about platypnea orthodeoxia. Orthopnea is what? Is shortness of breath on lying down, relieved by sitting up. Trepopnea is the patient prefers lying on his side to relieve his shortness of breath. Both of them will be discussed later in separate videos. But for now, please subscribe. There are new videos coming. Thank you very much for watching. Consider liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, and see you next video.